Good evening everyone, we are playing Rigs. This is going to be my first time playing, so let's try to start with the tutorial. See, this is one thing I always hate. Every single game. is offset just a little bit to the left it's annoying hey welcome to the team one second and I'll be right with you Thanks for waiting. This guy is one of our biometric scanners. He's just going to record some data to complete your profile. Okay. I've been looking at your stats. Your last season as a semi-pro was outstanding, but this is the big league. Time to really show what you can do. Okay. I'm yep. your chief okay, engineer. Uh, chief, for short. The team and I will maintain your rigs chief at optimal Pro. performance. Run training exercises, provide tactical information during a match. Yeah, I see my Everything you need to be a winner. First, there are some formalities we need to go through to bring you up to speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm We've trying prepped to a test tutorial. trick so we can set it up just how you like it. Sound good? Let's get started then. The pinnacle of exo engineering. It's yeah. tougher, faster, and a whole lot meaner than the hardware you're used Ooh. to. That is mean. This is a hunter-class chassis. She might seem small compared with other rig types you'll encounter, but she's got it where it counts in terms of speed and maneuverability. She's equipped with twin auto-reloading assault cannons. I'm guessing These are the most advanced sticks on the market, giving you hair-trigger control over movement and firing. Is there any way to skip over there? She has the servos and actuators throughout her chassis, allowing her to cope with any terrain. Pretty cool, right? Okay, time to get you on board, I think. Let's get her in position. I'm just going to call in a drone to lift you into the rig. Ah, here it comes now. We have to be lifted in the rig? Yeah, Are you sitting fancy. comfortably? Great. Then let's power up your heads up display so we can get started. Oof. The amount of details into this You're up and running. Neck. We're going to start by aligning your rig's aiming lasers. Entering calibration mode now. Turn your head to aim your lasers at the center of the target until it lights up. Good. Next position now. See that my head's facing center, but the lasers are pointing a little bit to Keep the left. Keep your aiming lasers trained on the target. It's something that I have noticed that is in like every VR game. It's a mistake that I keep putting in. That should be middle. I'm aiming here, but lasers point to here. So that's just annoying. Yep, that's good. How many times do I gotta do this? Yep. Looks like about one more. Okay, everything's looking good on my end. Now it's time to have Our some tech. fun. Let's oh, move on to some target practice. I'm loading the target range. Okay then. Yay! It actually had no train. Wow. So it's like a hollow deck. Each rig has two weapons. You can fire just one at a time or both together. Fire your right weapon now and destroy these targets. Great!
Now take out these targets with your left weapon. Textbook. Remember you can fire both weapons at the same time. Squeeze those triggers. Good work. Watch Ooh. the ammo counters at the sides of your hut. Your weapons will reload automatically when not firing. All right, good. Let's get back to reality. Oh, but I like the holodeck. It might make you play. It makes me think I'm playing Star Trek. Next, I'll remove your rig's rotation lock, and we'll practice turning your rig about. Here's the drone again. Same deal as before, but this time, your rig will turn to face the drone as you look toward it. Okay, to the left. Okay. What the heck? Okay, I do not like that. Gently does it. Well, I'm turning. It's over to the blackness. right now. I'm guessing that's just meant for motion sickness. Good stuff. But it is really annoying. Now let's get your eye in with some more target practice. Loading the range again. Hey, uh, now I'm focusing on the blackness. Uh, it is. Alright, Nice work. Get that turning is really fast. I won't turn at this speed. Great. Not the crazy fast turning. Nice going. It's just so sensitive. Excellent. If I just barely move my head over, it starts. That turning. was head turning where your rig automatically steers in the direction to which you are looking. Your rig has an alternate control method where you manually that. turn using the right stick. Would you like to try this manual method of turning oh. or carry on with the head mode? I would like to try the right stick. Okay, I've switched your control style over. The drone's back. Look at the hollow target as you did before. Okay, to the left. Yeah, see this... This turning seems a, a lot slower. Over to the right now. Oh yeah, I definitely like to turn... Uh-huh. As of right now, I definitely like to turn using the analog stick. Give it the head turn. Nearly it's done. Ridiculous. Good stuff. Here's the target range again. Okay. Now let's try this thing properly. Down all the targets now. Okay. Impressive. 
Impressive. Nice job. Yeah, I definitely found that a lot easier. Good work. It is definitely so, a lot do you better. want to continue using this method of turning, or oh, go back yes. to the head turn method? I'm Very good. Stick with the stick. You can change your control style in your options menu at any time. Now it's time to stretch those servos. Turn to face the exit door. Okay, now it's going to teach me how to walk. I thought I'd join you in another hunter rig. I'll be running the course with you, demonstrating some of the exercises and keeping you company. Okay, unlocking your leg servos now. Follow me. We'll be at a reduced speed until we get into the arena. Seriously? We run routine diagnostics on various rig chassis in here. That's Check a it out. One. Meet me on the elevator when you're ready. Ooh, that's a that looks like a different type of hunter. The Tempest. Vertical takeoff and the ability to hover make this an ideal tactical option. Mm. Uh, yes, I see the X. This is our test arena, where we'll carry out the rest of your training. You'll be able to return here later to try out new rigs. Okay. So I'm initializing your tracking system. There's a radar and a map version. So you I'm can toggle sure between them in the options menu. Once we start no moving about the arena, oh, you so may want to map. try the alternate steering method. You can do that in your options menu as well. Okay, here we are. I'll be spawning in pickups and targets for you to collect and destroy. Let's start Fine. with something basic. I've spawned a handful of pickups around the arena floor. Go hunt them down now. That what I would call. I've locked your jump capability for the time being. Seriously? I want to jump. I really don't These mind. small tunnels are only accessible by the Hunter and Tempest rig classes. Use oh, them for really? cover to make sneak attacks or take shortcuts around the arena. That is good. good to know. Okay, here's the next round of pickups. I've added some targets to the mix as well. Shoot them down. You can use your Rick's melee attack for a small burst of speed. Just press R3. Oh, that is cool. Okay, some targets like this. That'll do. Good job. Now I'll unlock your rig's jump capability. Oh my. Here's the next round of pickups. You'll have to jump to get these pickups, or you can shoot the targets instead if you prefer. If you jump from a ramp, your rig will pick up some extra height. Use your melee boost in the air to gain some extra distance with your jumps. Excellent! I've unlocked your dodge capability. Give it a try. Come over to me and we'll continue. Okay, so that dodge. Let me try to go back on the controls. Head turn. I've come to think of it. I I could use either one. 
stick or something very important your rig's power modes your rig features a power distribution system which allows you to instantly change between turbo mode impact mode or repair mode Ooh. turbo mode increases the movement speed of your rig impact mode increases the offensive power of your weapons and repair mode engages your auto repair systems give right. it a try now we're faster, now we do more damage, now we can repair. Taking down three opponents will automatically engage overdrive for a short time. When in overdrive, all three power modes are active simultaneously. Seriously? I think you're ready for some combat now. Come and get me. You've taken some damage. Heal up your rig with your repair power mode. Deal more damage with your weapons. Where are you? Where you can there? use your turbo mode to chase me down. Oh, yes. How I can't. Okay, that's my help. I nearly died. All your power modes are active. Sweet. Make the most of it. We'll continue fighting until your overdrive runs out. Okay. Where are you? Away. I, f I forget. I'll begin to pull the other trigger. Okay, stand down. Hmm. You'll have noticed that when a rig is taken down, the pilot is ejected into the air. I wasn't able to take you down in our little skirmish, so I still need to teach you how to relaunch into the arena after ejecting from your rig. I'm oh, going crap. to force eject you from your rig now. Here we go. Two, one, eject. Ooh. To oh deploy back into the arena, highlight a relaunch point on the map using your left stick. Then press cross to confirm. The map will also show tactical cross. information like the location of your teammates, visible opponents, and game-specific objectives. There you go. By default, your rig masks your view as you eject and redeploy. But I want to show you what it's like without the mask on. Okay, here we go. Okay, then. Oh. To deploy, turn your head towards a relaunch point on the ground, then press cross to confirm. He means X. Do you want to leave the ejection mask turned off? Yes. All right. You can customize your rig's comfort settings in your options menu at any yeah. time. All right, that wraps up our training. You're ready to fight in the arena. I've put the arena into practice mode. It'll be like this whenever you return from now on. Meet me back on the elevator when you're ready to leave. Ooh. I see some red blips. There they are. Boom. Ah, there's one I missed. Doing pretty good on this. I 
could have sworn that I got that. Let me try that again. This jump is not easy. I really like this training course. This definitely feels like I'm getting ready. Anything else? Fine, I'll pull the elevator. That good jump. Look forward to seeing you in a real match. Okay, now just let me finish my tutorial. There we go. Well, that was Riggs' tutorial. I'm not sure if I'll ever play an actual game. But I have overworked my eyes. And we'll have to stop here. Welcome Apex to Rick's headquarters. Oh my god. So let's take a brief tour of the facility. They are more fragile in front due to the rig density armor panel. This is where you choose the rig you're going to use. Now, look down at the tablet in your hand. This is your interface for everything. You'll be using it a lot to further your career. The rigs you can see on the tablet are the basic rigs, including the hunter you've just taken out for a spin. There are four classes of rigs, and you can select each one from this screen. They all have heavy machine guns. Why don't you try changing your class now? Nah, I think I'll end it here. So please like, subscribe, I'll continue making more videos.